Right, and it is for our friend. Get covered. But this is the last bet we take, okay? Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> oh, can I get a receipt? Yeah, sure. I'll have my accountant fax it to you. <laughs> so I was thinking we could call you tonight. No? Oh. I can't believe it. Look what I got. Look what I got. Wow. Hey, a letter. Doesn't take much to get you excited, does it? It's not just a letter. It's a letter from Drew Bledsoe. Get out of here. Let yeah. me see. Let's see what you got here. Dear sports fan. Oh, that must be his pet name for me. <laughs> Thank you for your letter. Unfortunately, Mr. Bledsoe can't take you to your prom, winter carnival, or spring fling. Sincerely, the Patriots. What? P.S. The Jets have a cute backup quarterback, and he's single. What this is. Drew is playing hard to get. No problem. Yo, 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 fellas. About that bet I made, man. What's up? Oh, don't sweat it, L Train. We got the ten dollars. Darn tootin'. Plus a whole lot more. Lumpy won. He won? Well, hey, man, we're happy for you. Uh oh, here's your ten dollars back. Plus the ten you won. Wrong. The odds on that fight were 40 to 1. 40 to 1? That's four hundred dollars. Really? I thought that was forty-one. <laughs> oh, pay up, man. You never said anything about odds. Well, you never asked. Check out the sports papers. Uh, uh, train, you got to give us more time. Well, we don't have that kind of money, man. Hey, I'm cool to after school. I'm taking Lumpy out to dinner tonight. Doc said he should be able to chew by then. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, you better pay up. Cause when Lumpy gets hungry, he gets mean. <laughs> I'm gonna come up with all this money by this afternoon. Well, look at me. I used the last of my allowance on our first bet. Well, we better think of something that fast. Now, I'm not taking one penny less than $100. I'll give you 10. It's a deal. <laughs> so how are you doing? Lousy. I sold all my new stuff and only got $33. That's it? You sold everything and only got $33? Oh, yeah, well, how much did you get? Me? $17. $17. You only made $17. Yeah, but I can still sell these sunglasses. Man, you better keep those. You're going to need them when Lumpy pops you in your eye. Good news. I reached the $500 mark in raffle sales today. Of course, most of that was due to you guys, but still. Oh, uh, Don, about that money we spent. Uh, I think we gave you a little bit more than we should have. <laughs> really? Like how much? All of it. <laughs> you guys are such getters. Ooh, more potential customers. Will you watch my stuff? Thanks. Hi, L Train. Yo, what's up, Duff? Yo, 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 fellas. I want you to meet somebody, man. This here is Lumpy. Lumpy, this here, Jamal and Chris, the men with the money. <laughs> Lumpy says hello. See, his jaw still wide from last night's victory. Wow, man. If you won, I hate to see what the other guy looks like. <laughs> Don't make Lumpy laugh. It hurts, man. So where's the money? Okay, we have some money for you. Now, I, I know we're a little short. <laughs> you making Lumpy rumpy. <laughs> uh, the truth about the money is that... The, the truth is, it, it, it's right here. Here you go. $400. <laughs> <laughs> Lumpy said, pleasure doing business with you. Peace. And that was Don's money. What do you think you're doing? Saving us from being Lumpy's second knockout. <laughs> we just took money from Don. What are we doing? We're stealing from our friend. Do you have to call it stealing? Or can't you think of it as a loan she doesn't know she made? Yes. Still doesn't make me feel any better. Yeah, me neither. I mean, of course, the truth is a lot of that money was ours in the first place. Right. And we are going to pay her back, huh? Right. Darn! Not one raffle ticket buyer. Phooey! Fudge! Dang nabbit! Excuse my gutter mouth, I just really wanted to break that $500 mark. 
Uh, Don, listen, about that money, I think that's something we should tell you. No, uh, you know, uh, what Jamal is trying to say is keep up the good work. Keep selling. Our school needs that furnace. Light it up, baby. I hear you. It's like preaching to the choir, mister. Amen. <laughs> Why didn't you let me tell her? She'd freak. Remember what happened when they almost canceled Party of Five? <laughs> yo, yo, yo. A gift from my cousin Iggy. What do you think? Thought Iggy liked you. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So Iggy's back in town, right? Jamal, we still have a hundred bucks left. Maybe we can bet it and pay back the loan. Yeah, I'm feeling you, man. Sorry, fellas. Iggy might be hard to reach today. He's at the track. He got a hot tip on a horse. Hot tip? As in the horse can't lose? All right, they're coming down the last turn. Our horse is still in the lead. I got a bad feeling about this. Why? We bet on a horse named U-Turn. They're coming down the home stretch. Yes. U-Turn by a length? Yes. U-Turn by a neck? Burn, U-Turn, burn. U-Turn by a hoof? Yes. And the winner is? Yes, come on with it. What? Well, what happened? Guess who made a U-Turn? <laughs> Okay, on the count of three, I said we go in and spit Augusta Noble. Deal? All right. One, two, two and a half. Well, hello, boys. I've been looking for you. My classroom, please? Two and three quarters, three. <laughs> well, gentlemen, this morning I was speaking to Dawn, and she informed me... Look, we're sorry we took Dawn's raffle money, Miss Noble. It's totally our fault. You see, I wanted some new Sky Jams real bad, so we bet on a football game. And then we won, and then we kind of got caught up in gambling, and then we kind of got caught up in being bookies. And then L Train made a bet with us, but we didn't realize the odds were 40 to 1. And then before we knew it, we owed him $400. But we swear we'll pay every last cent back. Yeah, we are really sorry. So what you're trying to tell me is Dawn's raffle money is missing? Well, yeah, but you knew that, right? Please tell me you knew that, right? <laughs> Actually, I called you in here to tell you you won the raffle. We won the raffle? We won Did the you raffle? hear that? We won the raffle. Get your butts down now. Okay. Look, Miss Noble, I don't know what we were thinking. I mean, it just all happened so fast. And I guess we kind of got in a little over our heads. A little over your head? You ran a gambling operation in school? You bet money that didn't belong to you? Money that was supposed to buy a new school furnace? I don't think you know how serious this is. Oh, no, we do, Miss Noble. Believe me. More than you can imagine. Yeah? Well, then tell me what the school's supposed to do for heat when that old clunker of a furnace finally breaks down. I don't know, Miss Noble. I mean, maybe me and Chris can try to fix it. I mean, at least temporarily. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. But right now, I'm contacting your parents, and I guarantee you there's going to be a great deal of serious detention around here and you will pay back every penny of that raffle money. Oh, absolutely, Miss Noble. But it's not going to be easy. You see, my dad doesn't pay me when I'm working at the diner. Oh, that's OK. You can both look for part-time jobs after school, starting today. <laughs> A real job? You mean the kind where you work and stuff? <laughs> that's right. Now I suggest you go talk to Dawn. You both owe her a big apology. You got it, Miss Noble. Oh, uh, when's a good time for us to come by and pick up our raffle winnings? <laughs> right. Stupid question. I can't believe Dawn doesn't know yet. You would have think she'd open the box by now. <laughs> she just opened it. Oh, so nice of you boys to dismantle that sooty, rusty, smelly, musty old furnace. You do great work. Are you taking taxes out of our pay? Guess what? I'm taking your pay out of your pay until you're debt free. Snowball, what are we supposed to do with this stuff? Ask your supervisor. <laughs> Oh, please. We should have taken our chances with Lumpy. 